I'm going to be covering the harmonies in the chorus of the song by Blackstreet before I let you go away. So I have found that in the chorus of the song there are four different parts and uh, there are parts in the song that my brother and I would like to call uh, perfect four parts where there are four parts that are uniquely doing different notes. A lot of the times in songs when harmonies exceed like a three part you start having harmonies that kind of copy each other but maybe in different octaves. But then sometimes arrangements, they'll have parts that are copying uh, different parts to a certain point, but then having unique notes here and there, and this song is actually the case. So let's explore the harmonies now. I'm going to show you the melody first, so check this out. Before I let you go away, can I get a kiss goodnight? Before I let you go away, can I get a kiss goodnight? Before I let you go away, can I get a kiss goodnight? Before I let you go away can i get a kiss good night before i let you go away can i get a kiss good night before i let you go can I get a kiss? Good night. Before I let you go away, can I get a kiss? Good night. Before I let you go away, can I get a kiss? Good night Before I let you go away Can I get a kiss? Good night Before I let you go away Can I get a kiss? Good night Before I let you go away Can I get a kiss? Good night Before I let you go away Can I get a kiss? Good night Before I let you go away Can I get a kiss? Good night Before I let you go away Can I get a kiss? Good night. I remember one time years ago I watched a documentary on uh, New Jack Swing and the birth of New Jack Swing and whatever and I remember um, a lot of the documentary had to do with one of the members of this group and I remember having a lot of fun watching this documentary. I also took a class in, in college called uh, History of Popular Music and that was also a lot of fun. 
But anyways, guys, if you got all that down, you can basically replicate how uh, Blackstreet did the harmonies in the course of the song before I let you go away. Before I close off, I would just like to invite you guys to uh, check out the stuff in my bumper. You can find the stuff, uh, the links in the description below. Um, my brother and I have a music channel called uh, Bro Tunes Twins Music. We attempt to put original music together uh, by ourselves. Uh, and um, we also have a channel called Bro Tunes. This is just any type of expression that we want to do. So maybe you might get a kick out of that. I have a Patreon that um, is kind of in, in progress of being built. I want to try to archive all my stuff on there. Also, if you want to become a member, I, I will be putting out uh, more and more um, extra content where um, a lot of it will be me exploring the harmonies outside of the choruses of songs where my main content that is free for the audience is uh, the chorus of the song. And then, of course, at the end of my videos, I like to minister the gospel because I'm a man of faith and I want to share this great opportunity. You see, the Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life. It also says in 2 Timothy that Jesus Christ, our Savior, has abolished death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. So unfortunately, death is necessary so that sin will cease. Uh, because we live in this world full of corruption, we all hurt each other, we all hurt ourselves too. But as I have just quoted, immortality can be accessed through the gospel because through the gospel, we can have that guarantee that we will not bring sin into the next life. And the gospel is a simple as uh, the verse above. If you just follow through with that, you're good to go. And I think this is the greatest opportunity of all. So anyways, thanks for watching. Tune the next time where I'm going to be doing uh, a different song. I appreciate your support. Sing in harmony, live in harmony, and we'll see you next time.